They're probably a little better than I thought. Hmm. I, mean, I thought they were going to be good, but this. I, I mean, I think this could be like a 15 win team. Even with the defense not getting home a lot today and getting kind of sliced and diced at times. Well, because wouldn't you say that one thing that will improve will just be their ability to pressure up the quarterback? I mean, they have one of the best players in the league, and he he hasn't been that good relative to what his standard is. I mean, today he had the one nice move where he kind of went inside and hit Stafford, you know, it was a quarter second. It happens in the NFL a lot. Yep. But you're paid to do that. What do they yep. say? It's, it's not just about sacks. Quarterback pressures impact you. So to me, when he ups that instead of one, one and a half a game, if he can get that, you know, double it, maybe in the next, you know, just keep building on it. That's the least of my worries. So their pressure should dramatically improve. The other thing they're pretty good at, which they've done, is they can add randoms, right? They can find scrap heap pass rushers in the mid. They've traded for him before. Random guy. You're like, who did they just trade for? And then all of a sudden, he's getting pressures. So I, I would put them, if they're not able to use this cap space on some player, which I, I, Kawakami, I went on his pod two weeks ago. He didn't save it. <laughs> So, so I was like, you know, I'll do it again. So uh, I saw him tweet like, I'm not going to ask John to do it again. <laughs> so I went and did it again. And um, he was like, you know, is there a chance like they could trade for worse? You know, clearly they're doing this kind of NBA style to have in case something weird happens. They're just they have the or to carry it over to next year. It just gives them optionality. Yeah, I just don't know like. Two things usually don't become available are like the Jalen Ramseys and definitely like, oh, uh, 27-year-old Lane Johnson on the trading block. You know, it's like that, that they're just not, you know, more than likely it's usually the, oh, they just traded for this Willis dude from the Jets or they just traded for Omofalu from the Houston Tech. It, that's typical. <laughs> Honestly, wouldn't you say McCaffrey, that situation's an outlier, right? So it there are more trades in the NFL, but for the most part, guys that get traded are just like, <laughs> Oh, Golden Tate traded for a second round. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's Vaughn true. But, I, but the they have career. but they have experience, right, with Emmanuel Sanders and with McCaffrey. They've seen it happen in their division with sweet players getting acquired. No, they're gonna trade. I'm just, yeah. I, it's just hard to like. Who are they gonna trade for? It just, you, you never know. It's sports. Weird shit happens. But Worfs, like, yeah, I, shit, I'd give them a first rounder and like a second rounder for Worfs and take his contract or whatever. They're two and zero. Oh. Do you think Todd Bowles is? Well, this that's the way the NFL, the NFL always is like we all have these proclamations of like oh, this team's gonna stink, oh this team and then all of a sudden you look up and Tampa's five and three. Now they may end up going eight and nine, but at the time when they're five and three, they're not thinking about going eight and nine, right? They're like, right. fuck it, let's make the playoffs. Yeah. That's why the deals happen in October. Maybe you don't need worse in October. I mean no, I you know my, my point is that you never weird. It's football. Weird shit happens. You see with Chandler Jones, like God. I think the Raiders. I was watching the Raider game today. They're like God. They're really double teaming Crosby. He's like God. He could use some help on the other side. Oh yeah, their guys going a wall, tweeting about it back in Vegas. It's a good life lesson. Yeah. You cannot in football take crazy character guys and expect them to just things to go smooth because for the most part, especially it's one thing. It's like hey. Listen, we're getting Terrell Owens in the in his prime, or it's fucking Randy Moss. It's another thing, like, yeah, this guy's probably not a pro bowler, but he's damn good. He'll improve our team. Really crazy, though, and at any moment could derail our entire locker room. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's take that guy. G give him $25 million guaranteed. Especially when you That's tag it with, this wasn't exactly like established culture of the Las Vegas Raiders, right? Oh, they but, didn't bring him oh, in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys, you guys were both on the staff when Bill traded this guy because he went naked. Like, shouldn't you red flag? And for all of us that sit on the couch, because I was someone like, God, the Niners should trade Chandler Jones. No, they shouldn't. Or, I mean, sign him a couple years ago when he was a free agent. No, that's their job to make level-headed decisions. Right? You, you listen to the fans slash podcasters, you'll be sitting with them. 